On four, the National Theatre's award-winning trilogy of The Mysteries continues with The Passion. Company, welcome to the Cottage Lawn, the National Theatre. This is the mystery cycle. This is the passion. It was on Christmas Day, and all in the morning, our Saviour was born, and our heavenly King. And was not it a joyful thing? And sweet Jesus. Call him by name. It was on the same day and all in the morning. The wise men were brought to our heavenly king. And was not this a joyful thing? And sweet Jesus, we'll call him by name. It was on a holy day and all in the morning. They baptized our Savior, our heavenly King. And was not this a joyful thing? And sweet Jesus, we'll call him by name. Almighty God and Lord, I say, full wonderful is man's failing. For if I preach them day be day, and tell them, Lord, of thy coming that all is wrought, men are so dull that my preaching serves for naught. When I have, Lord, in name of thee, baptized the folk in water clear, then have I said that after me shall he come that hath more power than I can boast. He shall give back him more entire in fire and ghost. Thou, John, tack tent what I shall say. I bring thee tidings wonder good. My Lord Jesus shall come this day from Galilee unto this flood ye Jordan call. Bapt him to take mildly with mood. This day he shall. But well I wot that him is ta'en to wash and cleanse the man of sin. And well I wot that sin is none in him, without him all within. What needs he then to be baptized for any sin, like sinful men? John, the kind of man is frail to which I have me knit. But I shall show thee reasons too, that thou shalt know by kindly wit the cause why I have ordained so. And one is this. Mankind may not unbaptized go to endless bliss. And since myself have taken mankind, men shall me for their mirror make. I have their doing in my mind, and so I do this baptism take. I will thereby myself be baptized for their sake, full openly. Lord, methinks it were more need thou baptize me. Thou sayst full well, John, certainly. But suffer now that righteousness be fulfilled, not in word only, but all's in deed through baptism clear. Come, baptize me in my manhood now and here. Ah, oh Lord, I tremble where I stand. I am afeard to do this deed. But save me, Lord, that all ordained, for thee to touch of my great dread of doings dark. Now help me, Lord, through thy Godhead, to do this work. Jesus, my Lord of might the most, I baptize thee here 
in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost. Now, sirs, that band that Mary bore be with you all. sort of cry. Where would thou be? Now, tell me here. Ah, sir, a poor blind man am I, and I have been from tender years since I was born. I heard a voice of noble cheer hear me before. Man, wilt thou aught that I can do? Yes, sir, for gladly would I wit. If thou would not declare me true this mirth I heard, what mean may it? Dost understand? Jesu! The prophet, full of grace, comes here at hand, and all the citizens from town go him to meet with melody, with the fairest procession that was ever seen in this jewelry. He's right near. Sir, help me to the street hastily, that I might hear that noise, and that I might through grace my sight of him to crave I would. <laughs> Here at this same place. Cry fast on him. Look, thou be bold with voice right high. Jesus, thou son of David, called. Have thou mercy. Alas, I cry, he hears me not. He has no room for my misfair. He turns his ear. Where is his thought? Cry somewhat louder. Do not spare. Sir, may your speed. Jesus, thou salver of all saw. To me, ye good ease. Cease, man. Cry not so. The prince of people goes thee by. Thou should sit still and attend there too. He passes prophet of mercy. Thou dost amiss. Ah, David, son to thee, I cry, the king of bliss. Lord, have mercy and let him go. He cannot cease of his crying. He follows us both to and fro. Grant him his boon and his asking and let him wend. We get no rest until this thing be brought to end. What wouldst thou, man, I to thee did? In this presence, tell openly. Lord, my nine sight from me is hid. Grant it to me, I cry mercy. This would I have. Look up now with cheer blithely. Thy faith can save. Worship and honour I to thee. We all service that can be done. 
the king of bliss loved my EB that thus my sight has sent me soon and all through thee. I were as blind as any stone and now I see hey, oh, blissful babe of Bethlehem born yeah. ransomer of sinners all yeah. he that shed both even and more yeah. welcome of us shall on thee fall yeah. royal Jew yeah. because that we thee call with mirth still new yeah. Yeah. shining with bright beams yeah. of light that ne'er goes down. Hey! Lanterns, lovely gleam. Hey! Of our souls so self, we welcome thee. Hey! And welcome of all about to our city. Hey! Justly injured, I, Judas, by Jesus, that Jew. First, was I, balancing brethren's budgeting books. Two temptations I tumbled to tell the tale true, and a tenth of each total the treasurer took. Bethany, betimes, my bell did begin when Mary brought balm in a beauteous box. It best of all alabaster was balm brought in, and she lollopeth a lot on young Lotterell's locks. <laughs> what waste well thy then, that woman hath not seen spikenard so soft, so sees my soul sore. What blessing to burden that balm might have brought its 200 pence price provide plenty for poor. Think of folk famished and feeble, that fortune would feed. Judge ye. Gentiles, all. <laughs> what that Jesus did, Joe? He goes, uh, Judas. <laughs> the needy shall never not need, and among you may I move not a moon more. The poorest plight prick me not to play no pretense. What prick me and pine me was loss of my pence. The cause which that cursed Christ to cumber and shall come and fall to my fiddle full fast while I flit. Sell that saunter in saunter up for self same sum. And thirty pence pocket from Pontius Pilate. On holy Wednesday and all in the morning, Judas betrayed our heavenly King. And was not this a woeful thing? And sweet Jesus, we'll call him by name. For thirty silver pieces he sold our Savior. And Peter thrice denied our heavenly King. And was not this a woeful thing? And sweet Jesus, we'll call him by name. Peace be both by day and night, to this house and to all that's here. Here will I hold as I have hight the feast of Pash, with friends full dear. Therefore array ye all in row. Myself shall part it you between, wherefore I will that ye eat there of every one. The remnant parted shall be to the poor that purveys none. Marcel, my own disciple dear, do bring us water here in haste. Master, it's already here, and here a towel clean to taste. Come forth with me together here. My word shall not be wrought in waste. Set your feet forth, let's see. They shall be washing soon. Ah, Lord, by the leave of thee, that deed shall not be done. Never I shall make my members meet, nor see service, Lord, from thee. Peter, unless thou let me wash thy feet, thou gets no part in bliss with me.
Ah, mercy, Lord, and Master Sweet. Out of that bliss that I not be. Wash on, my Lord, till all be wet. Both head and hand, I beseech thee. <laughs> This bread that I do bless and break, it is my course, no common crust. This beaker, blood, shed for thy sake, and sup of it, ilk man, you must.
One who hath brought bread with me shall me into Cumberland's cast. See where I serve this sop. Tis he. What thou must do, do thou full fast. Now is it time for me to gang? For here begins a noy all new. My fellows mumbles them among that I should all this bag and brew and search they shall not weep it wrong. To the prince of priests shall I pursue, and they shall learn him other ere long. And all his sores, sores shall him rue. I know where he removes. With his fellows ilka one I shall tell to Jews. And take. He shall be taken. I warn you now, my friends, so free. See to these sayings that I say. The fiend is wrath with you and me. Will you mar if that he may? But Peter, I have prayed for thee. So thou shalt not fear his affray. And comfort thou this company, and guide them when I am gone away. Ah, Lord, where thou wilt stay, I shall stay in that stead, and with thee make my way evermore, alive or dead. No worldly dread shall me withdraw. I will with thee live and die. Uh, so shall we all unroll. Else bickle war were we worthy. Aye. Peter, I say to you this saw, which you shall find no fantasy. This very night, ere the cock crow, shalt thou three times my name deny, and say you knew me never, no company of mine. Alas, Lord, I would liever be put to endless pie. No pie that am I, true prince of great pride. I was put in a Pontius for people to press. Then Caesar himself, with senators by side, relinquish me to these realms, all ranks to redress. I am Dame Perisius Percola, a princess of the Paris, wife to Sir Pilate here, prince without peer. All well of all womanhood am I, witty and wise, conceive now my countenance so comely and clear. Now say safely. I will certify the same. Oh, gracious Lord, grant mercy, your good will is gain. Yet to comfort my course, I must kiss you, madame. If you fulfill your foreword, my fair lord, I am fain. How, oh, how, fellows, now in faith, I am fain of these lips that so lovely be lapsed. In bed, tis full blithe to remain. But, yea, sir, it needs must be plain. All ladies, we covet them both to be kissed up and be clapped. My liberal lord, O oh leader of laws, I beseech you, my sovereign, assent to my sores. Now, now, our conjoying and jangling of Jews. Why be gone, horse and boy, when I bid thee? Away, cursed Carl, he's being eyed thee. Do mend you, madam, and your mood be amending. Methinks it were fitting to hear what he says. Sir, for to certify the sooth in your sight, to you as our sovereign, seemly we seek. Why, is there some mischief that musters his might? Yea, sir, there's a rank swain whose rule is not right. For he teaches folk him for to call great God's son. Thus grieves he us all. To us, sir, his law is full loaf. Beware that you wax not too rough, sir. Uh, without this abating, their hands, as I hope, a man hilt full of ire. For hasty he is. What comes he for? I can him not, for he's clad in a kirit. He comes. We a keen face. Oh, uncomely to kiss. Go get him. Step forth lively to my lord, if ye list for to leap. But, but to sow thy language that they bar not their bliss. Sir Pilate, most potent, a plea I pursue. That Jesus, that Jew, I would sell unto you. What hidest thou? Judas Iscariot. How gay sport shall it be? 
Bring forth thy bargain. But for a little immense to bear hence again. Nay, what shall we pay? Sir, thirty pence flat, no more then. <laughs> I shall teach you a token him quick for a take. Where he is ringed in the throng, my word will I keep. We do him not. Take care then that caitiff to catch, whom there I shall kiss. Now farewell. Walk on your way. I command thee, come near, I will, to my couch. Have me in your hands handily, and heave me from here. Ah, sir, you way well. Ay, I have wet me with wine. See that no man, nor minion of mine. Come nigh me. Not near. <laughs> Father, that all forms is with food for to fill. I feel by my fearedness my flesh would full fain be turned from this torment and taken thee until. For amazed is my manner in mood and in name. But if thee see soothly that thy son still, we open surfeit of sin, thus sackless be slain. Be it worthy wrought even at thine own will. For father, at thy bidding am I buxom and bane. Salver of all saw. Son, succor me send. The passion they purpose to put me upon my flesh is full feared and fain would defend. At thy will be it wrought and right worthily won. Have mind of my manhood by mood for to mend. Some comfort I crave in this case. And, Father, I shall death taste. I will it not defend. Yet, if thy will be, spare me a space. Unto thee, maker unmade, that most is of might. Be loving, I lasting, in life that is lent. Thy father that in heaven is most, he upon height. Thy sorrows for to sober, to thee has made sense. For deeds that man done, as thy death shall be dight, and thou with torment be toiled. But take now intent, thy bail shall be but best. Through that shall man's sin be amend. Then shalt thou, without any end, reign in thy royalty full of rest. Now in my flesh fear be, Father, I am fain, that mine anguish and noise are near at an end. And 
through my disciples go will I again. Kindly to comfort them that mazed is in their mind. Now will this hour be nigh and full near that'll certify all the suit that I've said. All hail, master in faith. And fellows all here, with great gracious greeting on ground be red. I would ask you a kiss, master, if your will were. For all my love and my liking wholly on you is laid. Full-heartedly, Judas, have it even here. For with this kiss is man's son betrayed! Say you here, whom seek ye? Do tell me, let's see. One well, Jesus of Nazareth. I think that name right. Behold ye all hitherward. Lord, here I am he. Stand fast, that's so dreadful, thy death shall be died. I'll be no more abashed, thy shining to see. Thou art amazed, almost in men and in might. I fear by my faith, and fain would I flee. For such a sight have I not seen. It gleam, it gleams the light, and I saw such a sight. Me marvels much what it may mean. Come, whom seek ye assembled, yet I say. One Jesus of Nazareth, him would win I now. And I am he soothly, and that shall I say. For that thou shalt die, Gaston, since it is thou. And I will try, but my faith, thee for to play. Here with a lash learn, I thee allow. Ah! Uh, Behold what the Gaston has done! Nay, traitor, but truly I shall trap thee, I trow. Peace, Peter, I bid thee. Trust thee no further, no frame me to fight. For if my will were as thou well wit, I might have power in great plenty. Of angels full many to muster me might. So put thy sword in thy sheath, and haste not to hit. He that smites with sword, with sword shall be smit. Thou man that's in dread and drollfully dight, come here to me safely and be salved of thy pain. In the name of my Father that in heaven is most in height, of thy hurts be thou whole in both hide and in bone, as this virtue in thy veins shall avail. What? All hail! I believe that I be whole. Now be sure him this time that gives tale to touch thee for thy travail. True fellows, by your faith, let us hang on all here. For I have on this hind, firm hold as I can. Have a hold on him now, old fellows draw near. Yeah, by the bones that he bear, this jest shall he ban. Even like a thief, heediously, hurl ye me here. I caught in your temples. Why took ye me not then? Now has darkness on earth all his power. <laughs> fares with all sirs that same shall ye see full soon our knights all forth they went to take him and betray by this i hold him spent he cannot wend away would ye sir take your rest the day is come at hand and with wine slake your thirst then durst i well warrant you should have tidings soon of the knights that have gone and how they have yet done to trap and take him anon now put all thought away and uh, let your matters rest. I will do as you say. Do give us wine of the best. For be we once well wet, the better will we rest. My lord, here is wine that will make you to wink. <clears throat> it is liquor full delicious, my lord, if you like. <laughs> Wherefore I deem deeply a draught that ye drink, for in this country that we know I vow is none like. Therefore, 
We counsel you this cook, Savely, for the kit. to be in peace, for I am laid late unto napping. <laughs> My lord, with your leave, a bit like you, I pass. And it'll be unto you, as the manner asks. What's it, my mean? Why, that yon white was following found early and late, morning and e'en. He will come near, he will not let. He is a spy, I warrant, full bold. It seems by his semblance he'd sooner be set by the fervent fire, the flea from the cold. Yea, but you wist as well as I what wonders that this white has wrought. And for his master sorcerer, I full fiercely should his death be bought. Dame, we have him now at will, and we have long time sought. Brothers go by us still, for then we have no thought. If it were great scorn, if he should skate, we hope he had reason and skill. He looketh lurking like an ape. I think in haste to take him still. Thou, caitiff, what moves thee to stand so stable and still in thy thought? Thou hast wrought mickle wrong in land, and wonderful works as thou wrought. Wait now, he looks like a brock, were he in a band, bound for to bait. Or else like an owl on a stock, full privily his prey for to wait. Woman, thy words and thy wind do not waste. Of his company never was I kenned. Thou hast mismarked me, truly me trust. Wherefore, of thy miss do thou mend. Then, hen heart, a vow all ye averred was amiss, when ye said yon sotrel could save us from sin. And gainsay that that gadling God's given son is, who walketh the world all whites worship to win. I will consent to your sores. What should I say more? For women are crabbed, that comes of their kind. But I say as I first said, I ne'er saw him heir. But as a friend of your fellowship, shall ye, me, I find. swiped off thine ear. Yes, sir. Yon sotrel, he swiped off mine ear. Now that lurden lashed out and lopped off thy lug. Yon lurden lashed out and lopped off my lug. <laughs> and now that harlot full hastily made it all whole. Oh, yes, sir. This Jesus, he hastily made it all whole. I was never with him in work that he wrought. In word nor work, in word nor in deed. I know none that ye have hither brought. In no court of this kith, if I should write, read. <laughs> Peter, Peter, thus said I ere. When you said you would abide with me, in weal and in woe, in sorrow and care, whilst I should thrice forsaken be. Alas, the while that I came here, or ere denied my lord apart, the look of his fair face so clear, with full sad sorrow, shears my heart. Chop, chop, busy, busy, work, work, bang, bang. 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 Chop, chop, bus
in business, an encouraging phone call just to say thanks a lot can often really get things moving. For all business, great and small, make that call. I'll see myself in. So, this is how the new managing director spends the day. Playing with executive toys. It's not a toy. These are our new premises. And what exactly is wrong with this trusty old building? We've been expanding. Ever since we took out a flexible business loan with Lloyds Bank. It allows us to rethink our interest rate options. Don't confuse the issue. What of the chaos that moving will cause? Well, actually, I've asked Lloyds Bank to organize the move as well. Through their Black Horse Relocation Services. Lloyds Bank this, Lloyds Bank that. I suppose they've even rented you this television. It's a computer. Linked to their cash call service. Gives an instant picture of our bank balances. As a major shareholder, you might like to see the firm's cash surplus and the interest we've been earning. I believe this proves my point. As I've always said, expansion is the key. Growth. Of course. Lloyd's Bank, a thoroughbred amongst banks. Don't know much about history. Don't know much biology. Don't know much about a science book. Don't know much about the French I took. But I do know that I love you. And I know that if you love me too, what a wonderful world this would be. Don't know much about geography. Don't know much trigonometry. Don't know much about algebra. Don't know what a sign rule is for. God's son, tell it to us too. Sir, thou sayest it thyself. And soothly I say that I shall go to my father as I came fro, and dwell with him joyful in weal all way. Why, fie on thee, traitor untrue, the father as thou foully defamed. Now need we no notices new, himself with his sores he ashamed. Now needs neither witness nor counsel a call, but take his sores as he set them in the same stead. He slanders the Godhead, and so grieves he us all. Wherefore, well worthy is he to be dead. Therefore, sir, tell him the truth. Surely so I shall. Hearst thou not, harlot? I'll hop on thy heed. Answer here directly to great and to small, and read us out rapidly some reason I read. My <laughs> reasons are not to rehearse, nor they that might help me are not here now. Nay, <laughs> lad. If you list to make verse, priest prattles prettier poetry than thou. Sir, if I say thee sooth, thou shalt not assent, but hinder or haste me to hang. I preached where people were most present, and no point in privity to old nor young. <coughs> also in your temple I told my intent, you might have taken me then for thee telling. Much better than bring me with brands unburnt. <coughs> Thus to annoy me at night and also for nothing. For nothing! Lossal thou liest! Thy words and thy works a vengeance will bring. Uh, sir, since thou with wrong so turns me awry, go ask them that heard of me speaking. <coughs> go, dress you and ding you in down, and deafness no more with his deeds. Ah! Go, tell to Sir Pilate our plain so plain, and say this lad with his lying is our Lord's lawn, and say that this same day must he be slain because of the Sabbath which is in the morn. And say that we come ourselves for certain for to further the affair. Now fare ye before. Sir, your fair fellowship we commend to the fiend. Go now, dance forth in the devil's way. <laughs> Thank you. 
the woe that I was wrought, that ever I came by kind or kin, I banned the bones that forth me brought, woe worth the womb that I bred in. So may I bid. For well, I so falsely did to him that unto me great kindness did. The purse with his expense about I bore. There was none trusted so well as I than me. He trusted no man more. And I betrayed him traitorly with lies all vain. Blameless I sold his body unto the Jews for to be slain. To slay my sovereign assented I and told them the time of his taking. Shameless myself thus ruined I so soon to assent to his slaying. Now wist I how he might pass that pain. To look how best that boom might be, hunt at Jews will I again. To save him, that he might pass free, that were my will. Lords, wealth and worship, would you be? What tidings, Jew, just tell us thyself. My tidings are painful, Sir Pilate, and therefore I pray. My master, that I did sell you, good Lord, let him wend his way. <laughs> Nay, hey, needs must, Judas, that we deny. What mind and mattress moved is us? Sir, I have sinned full grievously, betrayed that righteous blood Jesus and master mine. Fair sir, what is that to us? The peril and the plight of thine, thine is the wrong, for thou hast wrought it. Thou told us full truly to take him, and ours is the bargain, for we bought it. Lo, we all are sent for to slay him. Alas, that may I rue full ill, if ye are sent for him to slay. These words that thou names, no one needs it. Thou unhanged harlot, hear what I say, spare of thy speech. For no one needs it, or oh, walk out of door in the devil's way. Will you not then let him pass and have of me again your pay? I tell thee, traitor, that I will not. Then I am lorn this day. Alas, both bone and blood. Alas, the while, so may I say that ever I ascend to spill his blood, to save his blood. See, sirs, I pray you, and take you there, your permanent hole. Spare for to spill him now, I pray you, else brew ye me full mickle dole. Now hearest thou me, Judas, thou shalt take it again. We shall it not. What a devil art thou? When thou sought us, thou wast full fain of this the money. What ails thee now for to repent? That which I took of you, take it you there! And therewith your master in make you among and claim it you clean! I loathe all my life, so live I too long. My treacherous turn torments me with pain. Since so my treason I've taken unto me, I need ask no mercy, for none shall I get. Therefore in haste myself shall I fordo me. Alas, the hard while that I ever met yet. To slay myself now will I speed, for sadly have I served too ill. So well away that ever I was in wit or will that trusty true one to betray. Alas, who may I turn unto? No other counsel now I need. Myself in haste shall I fordo. and take me now unto my death. Come then, Sir Annas. Let's see what you say as touching this brass that here we have. The Judas in wrath has waved away and cast to us crabbedly. 
that cursed name? How say ye thereby? Sir, since he it slung, we shall it save. Quick, carry it to our treasury. Excuse thee if thou canst. Every man has a mouth that made his own mould. In weal and in war to wield at his will. If he govern it goodly like as God would, his spiritual speech he need not to spill. And what man shall govern it ill? Full and handy and ill shall he hap. For each tale thou talks us until you account shall. You cannot escape. Sir's mind, you have heard in faith all his design. For in this lad no lies can I trap, nor point to put him to pine. Without cause, so we come not this carl to accuse him. That will we wit as well as worthy. Now I recall will the right. Ye shall no sooner refuse him till he be driven to his death and doomed to die. But take him to you, thereby, and like as your law will as I doom ye his body to buy. Oh, Sir Pilate, without any peer, no nay. Ye what well, no doubt can appear. We may not, not all of us here, slay no man to you truth to say. Shall I doom him to death, not deserving the deed, but I have heard wholly why in heart ye him hate. He is fault to face, so God might me speed. I grant him good will to gang on his gate. Not so, sir, for well ye what? To be king he claimeth with crown. Who so stoutly would step to that stake, you should doom, sir, to be dung down and dead. Sir, truly that touches the treason, and ere I remove, he shall rue that reason ere I Stalk or stir from this dead. Be nice to the worthy. Take this chafed in keeping. Skelp him with scourges. And with scathe him scorn. Wrap him and wring him till for who he is weeping then. Bring him before us 
As he was before. He may ban the time that he was born. Soon shall he be served as you said us. They whoop off his weeds to the worn. Torn off in a trice. Take care of his track. He's burned fast. Now, beat on with bitter brushes. Ah! Go on, let be ye lordings with losses. For all our annoying this nigger Dean. Let's wake him. With wind of our wit. Now fling to this flutter with blood. Nah. Because he a king did him call, we will kindly him crown. We are briar. Aye. But first, this purple and pall and this worthy weed shall he wear. Now fling to him freely with a thick thought. Thus we teach him to temper his tales. On sheer Thursday and all in the morning, they made a crown of thorns for our heavenly king. And was not this a woeful thing? And sweet Jesus, we'll call him by name. His brain begins for to bleed. Now reach him a rush or a reed so round for a scepter it served him deep. <laughs> Hail, comely king that no kingdom hath kenned. Hail, man almighty without means to mend. Hail, lord without land for to lend. Hail, priest without foresee to pen. <laughs> Does the pile of the prince our pride will we praise? Now, Whiteley, let us wend on our way. My lord, will you list to our lead? Hear this boy as you bade us go harry with blows. We are cumbered his course for to carry. Many whites on him wonder and worry. Lo, his flesh, how its beatings it shows. Well, Bring him before us. <laughs> he blushes all blue. Me since this sayings he'll see some more. Sirs, look here on high. And see a K homo that's bound and, and beat and brought you before. Me think it suits him full salt. This season is in fashion of sellers are free. Each man amongst you may motion to me. Which churl shall be chastened in chains? You must choose. And which prisoner, pardoned by Pilate, shall pass? Barabbas? Or Jesus? Judge all ye Jews! Christ! How crazy! Pray cry. The prisoner to pine as the people shall play. Of blameless blood shall I unblemished be. By my hound, this misdeed shall not mar me. From Barabbas now his bonds unbent. 
And with grace, let him gang his gait. Well, you will. <laughs> Ye worthy men, goodly and great, God increase all your comely estates. For the grace ye grant me until. Hear the judgment of Jesus, all Jews in this state. Crucify him on a cross, and on Calvary him kill. I doom him the day to die this same death, therefore hang him full high upon that high hill. And on either side him, I will that a harlot ye hang in this hate. For me seems it both a reason and skill that amidst his malice being most ye hanging. Then torment him some uh, torture to taste. More words I will not now wait. But stay not! To death till you bring him! went on our way. He has napped not all this night, and this day shall our death be dight. Let you dare say nay. Because tomorrow we provide for our dear Sabbath day, we'll not amiss be moved, but mirth in all while I'm may. He's been busy all this morn to clothe him and to crown with thorns, as befits a folly king. Why, what thou not as well as I, that this call bust the Calvary, and there on cross be done? Alas, the time and tide, I wot the day has come that once was specified by prophet Simeon. The sword of sorrow he said should run through this heart subtly. Alas, this is a pitiful sight. He that was ever lovely and light and lord of high and low, how dolefully now is he dight. In world is none so woeful wight, nor so troubled to know. They that he mended most, in deed and word also, now have they full great haste to death him for to draw. Daughters of Jerusalem city, 
See, and more no more for me. But think upon this thing. Turn home to town again since you have seen this sight. It is my father's will. All that is done and dight. Alas, this is a cursed case. He that all heal in his hand has shall here be blameless slain. Our Lord, give leave to clean thy face. How he has showed his grace, he that is most of men. This sign shall bear witness unto all people plain how God's son here, guiltless, is put to peerless pain. Where do find you here about ye crones with screaming and with shout? What do these steamings here? Go home, thou bald head with thy clout. Door by the Lord we love and lout, thou shalt abide it, dear. This sign shall vengeance call on you all that are here. Now, I the ends with all. Or ill ale, come thou here. Lady, your weeping grieves me so. John, help me now or never more, that I to him might come. My lady, when we on before? To Calvary, when we come there, you shall say what you will. What the devil is this to say? How long shall we stand still? Go! Hide your hands away! In the devil's name, up the hill! This boy is so for bled that with his load he may not be led. He swoons, that dare I swear. It needs not heart a horse. Here comes a cow shall have been forth to bear. That shall we soon essay. A good man. Whither is thou away, you walk as if in wrath? Sir, I have a great journey that must be done the same day, or else it may do scape. Thou mayest with little pain ease thyself an ospo. Oh, good sirs, that would I fain. But to dwell where I loathe? Nay, fair sir, you shall soon be sped low. Here's a lad that must be led for his ill deeds to die. And he is bruised and all for bled, and makes us here thus still be stead. We pray thee, sir, thereby, that thou wilt take this tree and bear it to Calvary. I pray you do your deed and let me go my way. And, sirs, I shall come soon again to help this man with all my mane and even at your own will. What well, wouldst thou trick us so in fame? Let's ding the dusted down if he speed not there too. Sure, sir, that was not wisely wrought to beat me, though I trespass not, either in word or deed. Upon his back it shall be bought, to bear it whether he will or not. What the devil, who shall we dread? Go, take it up! Be alive! I bear it with good speed! It helps not here to strive, but bear it then must I need. And therefore, sirs, as ye have said, to bear this cross, I hold me glad, right as ye would it were.
If any ask after us, call them to Calvary. and heather high this fastening up falls to us four you watch yourselves as well as i our lords and leaders of our law have given doom this dole till die right, we've heard all that afore but now we've come to calvary mucking and moaning and moaning <laughs> i know i'm not but sir let's all make speed just you work out whose job is what and we shall do this deed we must start, sirs, and that right soon, if we shall any wages win. He must be dead and needs must be noon. Is it time that we begin? Let's ding him down, then he is done. He shall not daunt us with his din. Lad needs lesson, learn him one, with care to him and all his kids. Lad, his life shall loss in the worst of woeful ways. Well, that means put him up at cross. Yeah. Look at what the smart lad says. Then to this work us must take heed, mm. so that our working be not wrong. No, 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 the name is need, now let us haste him for to hang. Well, I have gone for gear good speed, both hammer and nails, large and long. And then may we boldly do this deed. Mm. Come on, let's kill this trick, he's strong. Come forth, that comfort soon shall cool. Win the wages thou art worth. Walk on. I'll work Almighty God, my father free, let these matters be marked in mind. Thou bad that I should buxom be, for Adam's plight I must be pined. Here to death I do pledge me, saving mankind that has sinned, and sovereignly beseech I thee that they through me might favour find and from the fiend them fend, so that their souls be safe, in wealth without an end. I care not else to crave. Of my hound's blood, of Adam's kind, is all his talk. This warlock wax is worse than wood, this soulful death may dress thee not. There should stuff mind in men and mood of wicked works that there did do. Had that white had wit, he would have ceased off sores, he swore was true. These sores will ruin him sore for all his sores would soon. He'll speed them that him spare till he's to death be done. Mm, yeah, I've done. But be live, boy, make the bound and bend it back into this tree. Himself has laid him down in length and breadth as he should be. It's traitor here, painted as treason. Go fast and fetter him then, ye three. And since he claims a kingdom's crown, even as a king hang here shall he. Yes, I shall not cease till his right hand be fast. Her left hand then's my face. <laughs> Let's be obeyed in bed. His limbs on length shall I lead, and even unto the boar then bring. And to his head shall I take heed, and with my hand help him to hang. Yes, since we shall do this deed, and meddle with this unthrifty thing. 
Let no man spare for special speed till we have made ending. This forward shall not fail, now we are right array. This boy here in our pale shall bide full bitter braid. The night, see here, I'll work we now. I sure I hope by all this hand. Let the poor have it brought full booksomely. We out and band. Strike on the night for him, me oh. Here's a stubble stiffly stand. Through bones and sinews it shall be sought. Work is well, I will warrant. Say, sir, how do we there? This bargain will we win? It fails, got put a more the sinews of dog gone in. I think that marker missed me, boy. Must he bide in bitter bale? If faith, it were all scantily scored, it makes it foully for a fail. Why crack he so fast on a cord and tug him to by top and tail? Yeah, though commanced it lightly as a lord. But come, help all him, will you, Lil? Sir, I shall do, pull Shelly like a snail. <laughs> well, I shall touch him through full nimbly. We are nail. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, that work shall hold, that there I ate. And now I fast both his hands. Do we all fall into his feet? So shall our space be speedily spent. Let's see what just his bail might be. There to my back now will I bend. Oh, this work is all on me. This boring must all be amend. That peace man for my harm, let no man know that wonder. A rope shall rug him down, if all his sinews go asunder. God, full kindly can I knit the comfort of this carl to cool. Fest on then fast, and all be fit. It is no fault, I'll belly feel. Look on you both a little yet. I shall not cease as I have zeal. Well, I shall fond him for the wit. Oh. Hail! Oh, oh now, I hold it well. Hand done! Drive in that nail, so that no fault be found. Ah. Yeah. Hey, this working would not fail if four bulls were bound. He called to me, but he creeped his pet his day, but to the poor in fault. Yeah. Sunder of old sinews and veins on Ilka's side. So have we sought. Nah, all is good, nothing in gain. This something shall we bail me about. Yeah, we'll go say to our sovereigns of all these works are we have wrought. Hey, sirs, another oh. thing falls first to you and me. They bet we should him hang on height, that men might see. Oh, well, what their words were, but sure this deed will do us dear. It may not mend to moot it more, this harlot must be hanged here. And more tissues may fit there, sir. Best on your fingers, then all here. Do. Oh, ween, it will never come of here. We four will not raise it right this year. Say, sir, why carvest thou so? Thy lifting was but lie. He means there must be more to heave it up on ice. Yes, yes. I hope we shall not need more company to cart across there. I mean, thinks we four should do this deed. Huh. Shrew me if I my wages share you. It must be done, we out and dread no more. Now look, be ready, and this part shall I lift and lead. On length he may no longer lie. No, therefore, now make ye bound. Let's bear him to yon hill. Then will I bear ye down and take his toes, I will. I think this cross will come cockeyed. This lad here's like to let it slip. Nay, sir, not I. I'm set this side. I'll not let him but it. More lifting. Let's lift. Lift up! Right. Oh, shame! Oh, it's the long... Look all his arm, he should him hide if he were gone. The devilly man. For great arm of thy hand, my soul went asunder. Shite thy am near shent so long have I born under. This cross and I too must twin us pass me back asunder soon. Lay down again, you get This deed for us will never be done. Say it, sir, see if some engine may help him up without delay. Here yeah, should work as worship we and not go lake about all day. Work is worthier than we, you'll find them few enough. This bargain buggers me, I'm proper air to puff. <laughs> no will of work, never we were. Having this cow some crafters cow. My burden sat me wondrous sore. Unto the hour I might not last. Yeah, Jock. And soon he shall be there. Therefore, fast on your fingers, fat.
worse this past. The way is a wicked way. So may we all four say, ere he is eaved on ice and raised in this array. He made me bust me bollock stone, so boys, this was eager to bear. Now raise him nimbly for the nonce and set him by this mortis here. And let him fall in all at once, for search that pain shall have no fear. There you go. Let down, so all his bones are sunder now on all sides tear. <laughs> All men that walk by way or street, let this sore scene sink in thy soul. Behold my head, my hands, my feet, and brood ye deep on my dire dole. If any morning may be meet or mischief measured unto mine, thou feather that all bales may beat, forgive these men that do me pine. What they work, know they not. He jangles like a jay, thinks he patters like a pie. He has been doing so all day. I'm a great moan in a mercy. Is this the same that Gunners say he was God's son almighty? Therefore he feels full fellow free, for he is doomed this day to die. Ah? Great destroyer's templum. So he said he'd do. Yes, so some he said he'd raise it up anew. It must have that he had no mind for all the crap that he could cast. Oh, what he were in words so wide for all his force, now he is fast. As pilot doomed is done and died. Therefore, I read that we go rest. This race mun be rehearsed right throughout the world, both east and west. Yeah. I let him hang there still and make more got moved. Then may we wend at will. Hey, sir. Not so soon. My church. Us needs another note. This kirtle I would of you crave. Nay, nay, sir. We must look by lot which of us for that falls to us. Yeah, I reckon we draw a cut for that court. Hmm. Yeah, see how soon all sides to see. The short cut wins that well you what, whether it falls to night or nay. Hmm? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this battle is my gain. Eh? Brothers, you need not brawl. Dapper wins again, and we get bugger all. Oh, the moon shines bright, and the stars give a light. In a little while it will be day. Our Lord, our God, he calls upon us all and bids us awake and pray. So dear, so dear, Christ's love at us and for our sins God slain. <laughs> 
to stand and he flourishes like a flower oh he's here today and tomorrow he is gone and he's dead all in an hour see senors and see what i say tuck tent of my talking entire avoid all this din here today and fall to my friendship all here the pilot a prince without peer my name is full fitly to call and doomsman of all gentle jury of all am i who makes oppression or does transgression of my discretion shall duly be doomed to die to die shall i doom them indeed those rivals that rule them on right thus loyally the law i unlap and punish them piteous lie but of jesus I hold it ill hap that he hang on yon hill so high for guilt is blood to spill ye took him still thus was your will with spiteful of speed was he split to spill him with spake in a speed for falsehood he followed his faith with fraud all our folk did he feed and labor to learn them his lay. Sir Pilate, of peace we you pray. Our law was full like to be loaned. He saved not our dear Sabbath day, and for that to escape were a scorn by law. Sirs, within your sight, with all my might, I judged him, right? And no fault in him could I know. Sir Pilate, your pleasure we pray. Take tent to our talking this tide, and wipe you yon writing away. It is not best that it abide, it suits you to set it aside and set what he said in his saw, as he that was pricked up with pride. The Jews' king am I, comely to know. Full flame. Quad scripsi, scripsi. Yon same wrote I. I bide thereby. Alas, for my sweet son, I say, thus doleful to death does he die. Alas, for full lovely thou lay, in my womb this most worthily white. Alas, that I should see this sight of my son so seemly to see. Alas, that this blossom so bright untruly is tugged to this tree. Alas, my lord, my life with full great grief hangs as a thief. Alas, Alas. he did never trespass. Alas, son, thou sorrowful sight, would that me were closed in clay, a sword of such sorrow me smite, to death I am done this day. Alas. Eloi! Eloi! My God! My God, full free! Lama sambat ye! Wherefore forsook thou me?
man on mould be meek to me. And have thy maker in thy mind, and think how I have sold for thee with peerless pains for to be pined. The forward of my father free have I fulfilled as folk may find. My friends that on me in faith relied, now from their foes I shall defend, and on the third day reach up rise, and so to heaven I shall ascend. Then will I come again to judge both good and ill, to endless joy or pain. Thus is my father's will. What may these marvels signify that here was showed so openly unto our sight this day on which that man did die, that Jesus height? It is a misty thing to mean, so strange a sight was never seen. Our princes and our priests, I ween, are sorely scared at baleful bodings that have been, are stood and stared. All elements, both old and young, in their manner they made mourning. Creatures did cry, and kenned by countenance that their king indeed did die. The sun for woe he waxed all one, the moon and stars to blench began. The clods did quake, and like a man did make their moan. The stark stone and stiff stock did grieve and groan. Bodies like brocks out of burial burst. Courses through turf crust crept out, and cursed. To maintain truth is well worthy. I tell you that I saw him die, and he was God's Son Almighty, that bleedeth you before. Yet say I saw and stand thereby forevermore. But since you set note by my soul, I'll wend me way. God grant your grace that you may know the truth someday. Thank you. 